three, two, one. MDS, do we have ignition? We have a liftoff. The whole program is in on time. What if in we turned on Voyager 1's camera today? What would it capture? Could it reveal something new about the cosmos? Or would it simply be staring into the void of deep space? Stay tuned as we take a journey through the history of Voyager 1 and explore why its camera was turned off and what might happen if we switched it back on. Let's start from the beginning. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977 as part of NASA's twin spacecraft mission, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Their primary goal was to explore the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These tiny robotic explorers gave us some of the most iconic images and data of these distant worlds. Voyager 1, specifically, became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. But the camera? That legendary camera that captured breathtaking images of planets and moons? It's been silent for over three decades. Why, you ask? Let's rewind to one of Voyager 1's most significant moments. On February 14, 1990, as Voyager 1 was about to leave the solar system, NASA commanded it to take one last series of images. These became known as the family portrait of the solar system. Among these photos was the famous pale blue dot, a distant image of Earth suspended like a speck of dust in the vastness of space. This photo alone changed how humanity sees itself, a tiny, fragile world floating in the immensity of the universe. After this iconic moment, Voyager 1's camera was turned off, not because its mission had failed, but because its primary objectives had been completed. You see, Voyager 1 is now so far away that any pictures it could take would be of little scientific use. It has long left the planets behind, drifting in the cold, dark void of interstellar space where there's nothing to photograph, or so it seems. Voyager 1 is over 14 billion miles away from Earth. At that distance, the camera's resolution is far too limited to capture any detailed images of distant stars or planets, plus its onboard energy source, which comes from the slow decay of plutonium, is reserved for powering essential instruments and communication systems. The cameras were shut down to conserve energy. Even if NASA wanted to turn them back on, it would likely come at the cost of other critical functions. But let's ask the big question again. What if we turned on Voyager 1's camera today? What would it see? The answer is, not much. Voyager 1 is traveling through the empty, desolate region between stars, known as interstellar space. It's pitch dark. The stars are too far away and there are no planets or moons in its vicinity. The camera would essentially capture a blank image, with perhaps a few scattered dots of light from distant stars, but even these would be faint. The pale blue dot was the last profound image taken by Voyager 1, a powerful reminder of our place in the cosmos. Turning the camera back on today wouldn't recapture that magic because Voyager 1 has moved too far from anything familiar. There's a certain poetic finality to that last photograph. The spacecraft's mission has shifted from photographing the cosmos to studying the space between the stars, sending back data on cosmic rays, plasma waves, and interstellar dust. And Voyager 1's journey is far from over. It's expected to continue sending data until around 2025, when its power source will run out. By then, it will be over 15 billion miles from Earth in the quietest, darkest corners of space. Even without its camera, Voyager 1 has become one of the most successful and inspirational space missions in history. So while the idea of turning on the camera again might stir our imagination, it's not about what we would see, it's about what Voyager 1 represents. It's a symbol of human curiosity and our desire to explore the unknown. It carries the golden record, humanity's message to any extraterrestrial civilization that might one day discover it. Even though its camera is silent, Voyager 1 speaks on our behalf 
journeying deeper into the cosmos than any spacecraft before. Voyager 1 doesn't need its camera anymore. It's gone beyond the point of sight and entered a realm where knowledge comes from listening to the invisible forces of the universe. The camera helped us see the wonders of our solar system, but now it's about the data we can't see, the mysteries of interstellar space. If we turned on the camera again, we wouldn't see what really matters, because Voyager 1 is teaching us that the universe is much more than what meets the eye. As Voyager 1 continues its journey into the stars, we are reminded that exploration isn't just about what we can photograph, it's about what we can learn even from the darkness, and in that sense, Voyager 1's mission is still very much alive. What do you think? Should NASA turn Voyager 1's camera back on? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the mysteries of space.